Meteorologist Bill Ranby with your accurate weather now forecast. Ranby factor time for this evening. I give it a seven. Pleasant for being and working outside this evening. You got some plans so far today. 86 and 64 just slightly below the averages and again, unfortunately, no precipitation month to date an inch and a half below average moisture year to date more than seven inches below average moisture and not much right there on Super Doppler 7 radar. The good thing about it being dry around the Omaha area, no tree pollen, no grass pollen, very low count of weed pollen in the air quality. 37. That's a low number. That's in the good range. It's the north part of the Omaha area. The few clouds that you can see looking off to the east. That's the Cambert 72nd and Crown Point. 85 feels like 86 dew point 64. That's all pretty decent for late July. It could be a lot hotter and it will be a lot hotter Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But right now, low to mid 80s in the viewing area. Most dew points are in the 60s and a little breeze out of the southeast. So hopefully Take advantage of this evening and if you've got weekend plans, maybe you can get them done this evening and tomorrow before it gets too hot. Our storm predictor has a dry evening 630 930 and then through midnight. But after midnight, a couple of showers and thunderstorms develop in northeast Nebraska and our computer models hint at them trying to move eastward into the Omaha Metro, sort of hanging around during the morning drive and then starting to move off to the southeast and dissipating and then a warm front kicks through and we'll see sunshine and Hotter temperatures in the afternoon, but again tomorrow morning possibility of showers and thunderstorms, which we need the rain, right? Radar's quiet. We had this patch of clouds move in this afternoon, but now thinning out and back to some sunshine this evening and in the big scheme of things here. That's a pretty tiny little upper level disturbance just sliding through here. So at the surface, we've got high pressure over Minnesota and Wisconsin, a light little northeast breeze. It was cool this morning for many locations, but late night tonight, that warm front comes in. Thunderstorms develop around the area, perhaps for the morning drive and the warm front lifts on out and temperatures start warming up again. 70 the low, a 40% chance of rain and thunderstorms late tonight and also early in the morning on Thursday. By noontime, we're partly sunny and then we turn hot again by four, five, six o'clock in the afternoon. 94 on Friday for the high temperature, 96 on Saturday, but probably as important, the nighttime lows are going to be very warm. 74, 77, 77 Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and that's kind of what makes it difficult as it doesn't cool off at night and then it's hot and muggy during the day. So a heat wave for the weekend.